So there is another solution that involves knowing the quadratic formula. Uh, and it looks like this. So we're going to use the red triangle here. And we're going to say that that length is B, that's A, that's B, and that's going to be 5. Uh, and we also know that uh, this length A plus B is equal to 5. Okay, so we know that A plus B is equal to 5. So that's key. So we know that, and maybe I'll just show that here, A plus B is equal to 5. And then we can set up some relationships here. We can say that uh, B to A, the long to short in the yellow triangle, is equal to the long to short in the bigger blue triangle here. And in fact, I'm not going to use this red triangle. I'm just going to use a yellow and blue. So maybe I'll just highlight that. So there's my yellow triangle. Okay, this is a long to short on my blue triangle. And I end up with b squared is equal to 5a. And then using this, I'm just going to replace the a. a is equal to 5 minus b. And so I end up with b squared is equal to 5 times 5 minus b. And we end up with what's something called the quadratic equation. So b squared equals 25 minus 5b. And there is a formula that solves this equation. Okay, you learned this in grade 11. So you don't, without this quadratic equation formula, you wouldn't be able to solve it without knowing the golden ratio. Okay, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. So if the quadratic formula looks like this, to solve for B, we take the negative of the middle number plus minus, we square that middle number, and we subtract four times the first number, the number in front of the first, which is one, times the last number, all divided by two times the first number, so divided by two. So we end up with a solution that looks like this. Negative five plus minus square root of 125, all over two. Okay. Now, obviously it's not gonna be minus, uh, otherwise, it would give us a negative number, so we don't want that negative length. So if I have to work that out, I go negative. So one. Okay, so I'm gonna do one twenty-five square root. Okay, and then I'm gonna add that to negative five and divide by two, and I get the. 3.09 which is kind of what I, I got 3.10 uh, just because of rounding error okay so b equals 3.09 this is actually a more accurate value b is equal to 3.09 okay and then we can solve for a by plugging it back into the the original equation up here a is equal to 5 minus b okay and so a is equal to 1.9 Nine one approximately. Okay, so our values here are a little bit off. Okay, these values are actually a little bit more accurate. And that's because the 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 estimation for phi or our golden ratio was a little bit off.